Hey, Worm People, Captain Matt here. Boy, we've had a summer and it's slow, everything slowed down a little bit because we had so many other things going on, but we are getting ready to ramp it up again. And uh, this is the beginning of the ramp up. But I want to share something with you. I was invited to a what's called the, the pot party. I, I better not stop there. The pot party and plant swap at one of the nurseries that I, um, that I sell worm castings through. And uh, so they invited me for this one day thing. And it's all plant people that are, um, that raise plants. I mean, like the, the person that, that invited me has 150 house plants. And, and she said, I'm not the only one. There are lots of people with that kind of stuff. And so they asked me if I could bring something as a giveaway. And so I started thinking about when you have that many plants, how do you, how do you, you know, get enough worm tea so that you're always using worm tea on those plants? And I came up with the answer. And here's the answer right behind us. And what we came up with is this, is that if they have lots and lots of house plants, they're gonna need lots and lots of worm casting tea. And so we came up with a five gallon, uh, the idea of uh, using a five gallon can and making tea in it and putting a spout on it. And, um, and so that people will always have um, the worm tea at all times for watering their plants. And so they asked me to bring a giveaway. And so this is what I'm going to give away. And I just thought I'd explain it real fast because some of you have the ability to, to do this. But the first thing I did is I took a nozzle and this is a nozzle right here. And it's as simple as drill. I drilled a one inch hole in there. We stick, we stick the, put a washer on here on this side. Whoop. And then we stick it in and then we put a washer on that side and then the lock nut here screws it and makes it tight. And as you can see, we're filled with water and we're watertight. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it, it, it pours real well. But now, how did I do it? The first thing I did, I put five gallons of water in and then something that I've learned more recently is I put in a quarter, a quarter tablespoon, a quarter teaspoon of of vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid. And what that does is it breaks down the chlorine and the chloramines in the water. And it was a very exciting thing to learn. So the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll put in some molasses and about a tablespoon. Um, you know, you can, you, if you go approximate, you're going to do just fine. So don't worry about exact measurements when it comes to five gallons of water and a tablespoon of, um, of molasses, uh, it will be fine if you put it in a little more or a little less. And the reason for putting the molasses in, remember, is to feed the microbial life um, as the tea starts to brew. And you want to feed the microbial life and watch, watch the microbial life um, also reproduce and get very, very active. Next thing I would do is I take two cups of, now this is extremely fine uh, worm castings. I put it through a 332nd um, filter uh, screen today. And the reason is I don't want to get this clogged. I want this to be uh, flowing at all times. And if you do anything other than a 330 seconds, you might be in trouble. So I'll put the three third, I'll put the two in and we will stir that up. Okay. We'll just stir that in a little bit. The next thing we want to do is we'll take a I picked up for, uh, for this process, I picked up three of these little compressors and we'll plug the compressor in. Ah, here it going already. And I have eight foot of hose and we will put, uh, I'm gonna put the hose right, I drilled three holes, one, two, three, on the side so that there'll be plenty of air pushing through but I wanted to get that this somewhat stable. So I'll put the stone on now. Okay. And also this hole will also help it go right down and stay down at the bottom. And as you can see, we're already aerating. And so uh, between the molasses and the ascorbic acid, things are starting to bubble up pretty well. And so the next thing we want to do is, is that's really it, is we're going to let it brew for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you've got yourself some really good 
worm casting tea. And you can, you can agitate it a little bit if you want, but there's a lid comes with this also, and you can snap the lid down because you have the air vents here on the side, and, um, and that's basically it. Now, one of the things, so let's say it, we're all ready now, okay? It's been 24 hours, and uh, we'll take our trusty bottle for, um, for worm casting tea, and we'll just fill her up. Okay, and we're right up to the top there. And you can now just take this and just go ahead and water your plants. Or if you want, just go ahead and put a, um, put a, a, your small watering can, your house watering can, and you can go around and water all your plants with the, uh, with the tea. And you might've noticed that I'm not using a bag and I did try it with a bag, but the bag didn't allow the, the air to get everywhere and get in the bag. I put the, I tried it with, with the stone in the bag and the stone under the bag. And so we're raised high enough here that with putting only two cups of castings in, it will settle down below and we'll have no problem whatsoever. And so it's, it saves the bag. Now you may, after you use this and you can keep it bubbling, uh, um, and keep oxygenating it and it should stay stable. And so this was our solution. We're excited about going to that plant show and that's at Hewitt's. If, for those of you that are watching this that are local, that's at Hewitt's in Queensbury and it's on uh, Sunday, October the 24th from three to six. Uh, we'll be there and uh, we'd love to meet you and see you if you possibly can make it uh, for that. The reason for putting this together at first was just simply, we're gonna give one of these away. With it, we'll be giving a, a quart size of strained, 330 seconds strained uh, worm castings. And I'm going to have a smaller jar of ascorbic acid for you because it's really important. A lot of people with plants are apartment dwellers in the city and you need to get rid of that chlorine. And uh, we're gonna have a small bottle of molasses with it also. And uh, so uh, it will be a giveaway and then I'm gonna have it available. I I've yet to put a price on it, but um, I may have a few of them with me for the show. It's, I'm pretty well set up already for it. Um, I may be able to sell a few of these along the way. So it was just fun. It's always nice when, when we find a need, all of a sudden, if you start thinking about it a little bit, there's an answer for that need. And those of you that are worm people raising worms and making castings, we've got a lot of things that we haven't learned yet and ideas that we haven't played with yet. And the more we work in this field, the more we're gonna find wonderful things to do and share with our community. Until, until next time, God bless you, and we'll see you real soon.